What's poppin' YouTube? My name is Queen Madness and thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be recreating the infamous light makeup filter on TikTok. I know you guys have seen this TikTok filter before. You've probably seen your faves use it. Or if not, if you're just looking to try something new, here, grab my hand. Take my hand. Take my hand. Okay, let me guide you on how we got this beautiful bronzy look. Now this is definitely a fuller look. Don't let the term light and makeup on the filter trick you. We definitely have to do some steps to get here, but I hope you guys are down to come along with me on the ride. So if that's not interesting, you guys already read the title, so let's just get straight into this video. Let's go! Hi, let's get into it, yup. Yeah. So I'm gonna be using a actual photo of myself with the filter on as a reference because I deadass don't remember what this filter does but she's real popular on tic tac and you know me i stay on tic tac so observing this um filter obviously it's very beat it's very matte not even matte but it's like flawless blurring vibes so that's what we're going to attempt to emulate today i'm going to start with priming my skin i'm using the elf power grip primer you guys don't already know this has become my new favorite primer it is a dupe for the milk hydro grip primer which i still love and honestly i think that they do do different things i feel like the power grip is more hydrating like it, it gives more of like a dewy finish where the for the hydro grip was more like regular so next we're gonna go in with a little bit of underpainting first uh, so I'm going to take the, 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 the I'm going to take the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Mine is in the shade. Ooh, where's she at? Sand. So we can kind of brighten that under eye because under eye is going to be super mega ultra bright. So I'm trying to layer as much as I possibly can because we're going to be putting on a lot of concealer. I'm be using today. It is from It Cosmetics. It is the number seven brush and I'm just going to spread this concealer as a precursor give us like that natural glow even out the skin a little bit without using too much product and then I'm going to take my beauty sponge and blend that out then I am going to go in with a powder for kind of the same effect we're kind of just blurring everything so that's basically what the filter does. So I'm going to be taking my Lure Mercier powder, um, but you can use any translucent powder you like. And I'm going to take this um, in conjunction with a powder puff. This is actually my first time using a powder puff on my channel. Um, so far I really like it actually as a alternative. I love when I choose to wear black clothes while I'm doing my makeup um, because then translucent powder gets all over uh, everything. So I'm going to dap off some of the excess translucent powder and then just press that into the skin. Because I'm more oily, oily baby. <laughs> And real quick, sorry for the abrupt pause, this is editing Corey, but I forgot to mention that I am using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Just want to pop that in and say that. Thank you. Goodbye. This is what that is giving. So I'm going to do two pumps. Um, I'm using the shade Caramel, but I actually think it's a little bit too light for me. I'm going to kind of fix it. I've tested Maple out in the store, and I think that's closer to me. So if you look like me, you're probably in the shade Maple. It's one of my favorite foundation brushes. It's so nice. Oh, this foundation is so freaking good dated like I literally look flawless and that's kind of what it's exactly what we want yeah yeah she's a little light she's a, she's a little light look at that yeah we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it extra love and attention to any areas that tend to crease up but you want to get a foundation that is pretty full coverage because again we want flawless so next I'm going to go in with my contour. For contour I am taking the Black Opal Foundation Stick. Talked about this in another video. I'm in the shade Suede Mocha. This is my favorite contour stick. They are not paying me to say that. I just really like <laughs> the foundation stick. But I'm going to use this for my forehead. And then let me look at the picture because my forehead is definitely contoured. Um, they kind of chiseled in and like took in my jaw which I can't do that with makeup, but we're gonna attempt it. Um, and then they've contoured heavily on the edge of the nose as well, and also around the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the contour like here, 
usually put my contour a little bit high. I'm going to do a little bit on the nose, but we're going to come back to the nose later. And because they shaved in my jaw, I'm just going to shave in my jaw um, just on the corner pieces here like that. Again, everyone's face shape is going to be a little bit different, so I recommend you know looking up a tutorial on how to carve out your face pertaining to your face shape. And if anyone's curious as to what my face shape is, I think I have probably diamond oval. I go back and forth between diamond and oval um, because my face is like narrow at the top, wide at the sides, and then narrow at the bottom, but it's kind of rounded at the bottom, which is why I say oval, but it's technically a diamond. Depends on who you ask, basically, but I'm gonna bun this out. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm waiting for the right person. Woo! So we've done the cheekbones and the bottom of the nose. I'm going to do my eyes as well because as you can see in the picture, there's a little bit of darkness around the eyes as well. Good. And this is starting to kind of look like my foundation shade now that I've blended everything <laughs> together. So again, I'm going to take the butt of my beauty blender now and just make sure everything is looking very much seamless especially on this jawline because i feel like the jawline always tends to act up more than any other product and then i'm also going to spray a little bit of setting spray Ooh. looking like a glazed donut sexiest glazed donut in the shop though i know you want this um, bite a piece of donut oh. so i'm going to be taking two concealers the first one is the born this way multi sculpting concealer this is in the shade cookie and then i'm also going to be taking this makeup forever uh, ultra hd cover concealer and this is in the shade mm, light <laughs> very light though basically the point is, is that you want to get your highlight shade and then you want to get like an ultra mega highlight shade that's super duper bright this is only going to go in like the innermost parts of Le face, okay? So I'm gonna kind of place the concealer in here, here, and then um, we're gonna do my chin, my nose, my forehead, and then we're gonna do the nose, just like that. So this is the general placement for the concealer for this step. We're going to go back in with that same tiny brush that I use and then blend everything out. Okay. Beautiful. Now, the filter does not add blush, but I'm going to add a bit of blush just to kind of bring flesh and life kind of back into my face. So I'm going to take the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment Blushes. These are my favorite blushes. I'm using the shade Waking Up today, and we're just going to put a teeny tiny bit, like I said, just to kind of bring some life back into my skin. Then we're going to go in with our baby, baby, super duper, 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 duper bright concealer, and I'm literally going to put two dots of that just in the under eye, and we're going to blend that immediately, and we're going to blend that with a sponge. We are not going to allow this to sit and look crazy. I like my looks to be very much wearable and not just on TikTok, but in real life, <laughs> okay? So we are going to blend this out immediately and we're kind of gonna make this U shape sitting right in that socket. Super duper ultra mega ultra bright. So now we're gonna contour the nose. So I'm going to take my black opal stick again. You can use whatever cream contour stick you have. We're gonna use a teeny tiny little brush. We're gonna pack on that product. It's very heavily focused on contouring the nose and kind of having a round nose. So what we wanna do is we wanna kind of get the sides. Let me bring you guys in a little bit actually. So we're bringing the two in on the sides and then we're gonna kind of swoop -de right on the top kind of like that kind of corny but I promise you it's gonna work and then they have it going up the sides as well kind of into the eyebrow and remember we put a bunch of cream contour here so it should marry when you do it so it kind of just looks like that for the 55th thousandth time I'm gonna take the butt and blend then I usually don't do this but we are actually gonna take a little bit more of that super duper ultra mega bright concealer and we're gonna put this in like the very center here and then down 
our bridge like that so we're like re-highlighting the nose because the nose contour and highlighting that they do in that filter is just so bright again usually I wouldn't do this because it doesn't look very like natchy but for the sake of copying the filter which is what I so what I said this video was about, we're going to do that as well. See, it just makes it like super duper mega ultra bright. So for powder, I'm actually going to take the KVD powder in the shade Translucent. This is their setting powder. I'm going to use this one instead. I've been using this a lot and it's surprisingly good. And I don't mean surprising like, like KVD is a bad brand or anything, but it's just so white that you'd think like it's just not for me. So I'm going to take my powder puff, kind of tap it a little bit swirl off the excess and then we're going to start I usually like to start in the middle of my cheek not in my right under eye because I don't want all of the product to be under there and then it's like super like cakey and like crusty so I like to do it right in the middle here like that and then bring it up so that's what I'm gonna do so we've powdered it up we're looking what pores pores I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you're referring to. Sorry. <laughs> Is we're going to bronze. I'm going to take ooh, a toasted bronzer from Benefit. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. But we're going to kind of go almost over the cheekbone because again, we kind of want to shave off <laughs> our cheekbone a little bit. It's kind of weird, but that's how they do it in the freaking filter. So we're gonna shave it off, like literally, like almost like where you would place blush. Then we make sure to give extra love to our eyelids as well because in the filter they are definitely darkened. Then I'm going to take a fluffy but more tapered brush and we're going to contour our nose. So we're kind of following the same thing that we did last time. So we're going to hit the under the nose and then we're going to really make sure that the top of the nose is nice and dark almost alarmingly so and then we're gonna go up the sides okay so it's coming together we look like we got a little filter on or whatever like uh. okay i'm gonna do my eyebrows now because i'm kind of avoiding it pretty darn close so for lashes we're gonna go in with a half lash so I'm going to start by taking the Lash Princess. This is from Essence, one of the best mascaras if you're balling on a budget. That's when the look comes together for real. Once you start doing the eyes, that's when I start seducing you. That's when now you're now you're seducted. And then I'm just going to go back in with the mascara and kind of just retouch up the front because some of my front lashes will get pushed down after doing that. But And then I'm going to take a... Now what I'm about to do, y'all might think, is a little bit extra, and that's okay. But I'm going to take the tubing mascara from Tarte, and this is what I use specifically for my bottom lashes. Now I use Tubi Mascara specifically for my bottom lashes because Tubi Mascara crumbles less and I hate, and I'm sure all of us hate, when you can see like little black bullshit from your mascara falling down. So the last thing that this filter does is it gives you a lip filler. How kind of them, how sweet of them to, to add that in. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna just clean up the excess makeup. So for this step, we're kind of trying to make our lips taller. So you want to kind of elongate it on the sides. So I'm going to start in the very corner and drag it up. Like damn near straight up to my cupid's bow. Like that. And then we do the same thing to the other side. Like that. And I'm kind of cutting off a little bit of my actual lip. Like it's almost like underlining it to overline it, if that makes sense. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom here. And then the filter doesn't really change the lip color, but I'm just gonna put in my kind of like staple lip. So I'm gonna first take this L'Oreal um, matte, or not matte, cream lipstick in the shade 840. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this shade Lady Boss, or sorry, Brave from the Lady Boss collection from Too Faced, and do literally a swipe in the center, just like that. I'm going to take this gloss from Buxom. This is in the shade 
spice vanilla latte but i think this was their fall collection so i don't know if it's still in stock but it's pretty so first of all let me pull out this filter and we're gonna do a wax on wax off moment and see if we that ass got it like did we get the filter did we get the filter or not so let's check it out so we have this is with the filter there's certain things we couldn't do like they literally chiseled my jaw and there's nothing I can do to make that happen but pretty darn cute if I do say so myself yeah and there's no way I was chiseling my, my I was not putting on that much bronzer like that that looks crazy anywhere else but TikTok and as I said before I try and make my looks lookable for TikTok you know what I'm saying so I will take it but yeah guys so that's gonna do it for me comment down below and let me know how you think that I did I think I flipping nailed it this is such a cute look the shape the look the vibe is all there but you let me know in the comments how you think I did but other than that guys that's gonna do it for me so like if you enjoyed leave a comment of your thoughts make sure to smile have a wonderful day don't forget to ring that brown notification button right after you sub Ooh subscribe and I will see you all in the next one bye